So here's my USB MIDI foot controller. I wanted to go over a few things about it because I know there's quite a few people out there that have made one or are looking to make one. One of the reasons I did this is that the ones that I found that I thought was affordable was only three foot switches. And after purchasing one and using it for a while with my recording software, I found that I wanted more buttons. So I set out to find a better one. Well, the ones that had four, six, eight switches or more were quite a bit more expensive. I really couldn't see paying that. And since I had some experience with microcontrollers, I decided to start looking at what it would take to code one as well as how much it would cost. After some research, I chose the Teensy 3.2 microcontroller simply because it's very affordable, versatile, easy to program. It can, only, it can usually be had for around 20 bucks. I spent less than 60 bucks to make this thing. I already had the enclosure, which is a 19 inch rack space filler. The foot controller itself, like I said, Teensy 3.2 microcontroller, eight momentary foot switches, a toggle switch, which controls the on and off for sending MIDI control codes or MIDI note on off codes. I can select up to 16 different codes total with a press of my foot, all depending on where the switch is. I myself really use this strictly for recording. I use Reaper, which I really like. I wanted to code it to you to transmit MIDI notes as well as CC codes for versatility. It's also compatible with Windows 10, so let's get into it. Now for me to test it, I decided to create a MIDI monitor that was coded in VB.net with some code I got off the internet combined with mine. So inside with the toggle switch to CC mode, we can select the Teen ZM, which is what it's coded, select MIDI CC messages, start the monitor, and as we start pressing buttons, it will register the button that was actually pressed with the actual control code in the status byte. It only shows pressed. It doesn't show released for CC messages. For the notes messages, it's different. So we can switch the toggle, go over to note messages. We can start the monitor back again. And as you see, as we press, it will register pressed and released. So it transmits a note on and then a note off code. Uh, this works well with uh, various different synthesizers and everything. So let's take a quick look of how it's set up and how it reacts with my recording software called Reaper. So I already have Reaper loaded up. I've already pre-staged it with all the uh, MIDI control message settings within the actions list and of course options preferences for the USB MIDI controller. I've even loaded up a media file. So as you see, I'll show you on the start a project button. If you uh, work on pressing the project button, so just press it, it actually goes to the very beginning. I can press a play button and it will actually start playing. Of course, the stop button will stop it. If I want to insert a track to record, I press another button, inserts. I have an arm rearm track, so I can press that and arm and rearm. If I want to record, press the record button. Say I don't like it, I stop it. I can actually remove that item. Say I want to start over. I can turn around and press record again, starts. I can stop it, say I'm just fed up with that track. I can press delete and it's gone. So that's pretty much about it. So I appreciate y'all watching. If y'all have any comments, need direction, uh, please fill a comment and I will actually respond. Thanks.